<laughs> All right, well, back here at home, you could say it still has that new school smell. Uh. The $150 million Frank W. Ballou High School built from the ground up. Now, for years, Ballou High School and WJLA, we've had a nice, re close yes. relationship with a lot of the students and the people there. And the school celebrated the opening today of the biggest high school in D.C. That's Ballou now. D.C. Bureau Chief Sam Ford takes us there to the school, which is right next door to the old one. With Baloo's award-winning band setting the tone, students, alums, and city officials got ready for a celebration. I'm looking at my script here, and we have words like high-quality learning environment. Man, this, this place is just a bomb, all right? Baloo's gone from being the most dilapidated high school in D.C. to the brightest, shiniest, and you could see it in the kids' faces. I feel blessed. good. Yeah, I, I feel feels wonderful. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> it can make you want to come here and learn and get on your feet and do something, man, you know? When you, like, when I first came here, it just, I ain't think about outside. I'm just thinking about in here. The school has two gyms and a swimming pool. There are 13 labs in this building, 87 classrooms, and at 356,000 square feet, this is the biggest school in D.C. Back to the programs, the alums are all excited, representing classes through the years from a former football player. Class of 2006. Alumni Association leader. Class of 86. FedEx Vice President, Gina Adams. I'm not going to tell you, Sam. <laughs> a long time ago. Baloo has an inspirational mural of role models featuring good students who go there now and historical figures. And not forgotten, the late council member Marion Barry, whose pictures on the mural and whose son, who helped build the school, was there. He believed the people in Ward 8 should have the same facilities as the people in Ward 3, you know, equal distribution of resources. So this definitely goes along with this dream. And Rather than countdown to the big moment, the mayor said have them spell the word Baloo. <laughs> The school opens for classes after the Christmas break. In Southeast Washington, Sam Ford, ABC 7 News.